Hello students, my name is Shayan Mitra. I am the faculty member of Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering of Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. Today I am going to take the class of signal system and today's topic is application of Z-transfer. The subject code is EC303 and this is the lecture number 25. Okay, so in the previous lecture we have described what is the Z-transfer means, what is the specific properties and theorems that we are that are related to the Z-transfer. Uh, what is the difference between the Z transform and Fourier transform? What is the advantage and disadvantages of Z transform? And what is the basic difference of Z transform with the Laplace transform? And what is the significance of using a uh, Laplace transform in place of Z transform? Okay, or vice versa. Vice versa. So uh, let's begin with our today's lecture. So let's begin with it. So the application is uh, s the serious application of Z transform is a closed loop or feedback control system is shown in this figure. Uh, one second. Okay. So as you are saying that uh, now if you can describe your plant and your controller using linear difference equation and if the coefficients of the equations don't change from sample to sample then your controller and plant are linear and shift engineering and you can use the Z-transform. So the basic property of Z-transform where we can use Z-transform is this uh, the controller and the plant are, sh are to be linear and shift invariant and the coefficients of the equations don't change from sample to sample then you can use the linear shift invariant and you can use the Z-transform. So to use Z-transform we have to be uh, have to have the system of a linear and shift invariant. So the generic computerized control system of this is uh, suppose this is the control software Okay, so we provided the command. This is the digital controller. Using this, uh, the, uh, the command is uh, fed into the system as an input to this control software. From that control software, the output that has been uh, goes to the digital to analog converter. Another one is goes to the filter and analog to digital converter. The digital to analog converter converts this uh, signal to analog uh, signal. This uh, it, it drives to the amplifier and to the plant. And the plant, this is the behavior, and this is the output that is again faced to the measurement where it basically rectified and the error percentage will be uh, redefined and it goes with it with the, it, it's fed back to the filter uh, the converter again it goes to the here the, the control software and again it's uh, goes to so basically a specific feedback control system is basically this this kind of physical uh, feedback control system can be mm, implemented as a uh, can be a z transfer can be used here okay another one is now how now suppose the, the x of n is the output of the plant at sample time n u n is the command to the detail to analog converter at sample time n and a and b constant set by the design of the plant now you can solve the behavior equation of the plant over x of n is equal to a of a 1 x of n minus 1 plus a of 2 a into x of n minus 2 plus this plus b on u sub x n minus 1 plus b2 u sub x n minus 2 plus this time. Furthermore, you can also investigate what happens when you add feedback to the system. Okay. The Z, tra no, no, the Z transform allows you to do both of these things. Okay. So, what will happen? Now, this is the property. Let's go to the next slide. Now there is more, deals with many common feedback control problems using continuous time control. Also used in sample time control situations to deal with linear shift invariant difference equation. Okay. Now we are going to discuss what the linear shift difference equation can be used for. Okay. Now this transform takes the sequence of x of n numbers and transform it into an expression of x of z that depends on the variable z but not on n. That is the transform part. So the problem is transformed from the sample time domain n to the z domain. The Z transform formation. The Z transform of X is denoted by X of Z of X and defined as X of Z is equal to Z of X, which is equal to 0 to a infinite X to X of N, Z to the minus N. Okay. Now the example is, this figure shows a motor and gear train that we might use in servo system. This is the motor and this is the potentiometer that we use for a voltage driven motor and gear train. Here the difference equation that describes the plant might look like x of n is equal to a of plus 1 x to the power minus n minus 1 minus a into x of n minus 2 plus b into u to the power u n u sub x n minus 1. Now we can take the z transform of the behavior equation without knowing what x of n or u of n are at and get. 
so this is the part notice the cool thing we have turned the difference equation into an algebraic equation this one of the many things that makes the z transfer so useful because we can now one second Uh, we can now easily transform the difference equation into algebraic equation that will get me used uh, this is the example that is the equation that discuss the plan might look like okay and we can take the z transform of the behavior equation without knowing what x of n or e of n are n get so the function is x of z x of z into 1 plus alpha z to the minus 1 minus x of z a into z to the minus 2 plus u of z b into z minus 1 notice a cool thing we have turned the difference equation into an algebraic equation this one of the many things that makes the z transform so useful because we can now easily do that okay the function of h of z is called the transfer function of the system it shows how the input signal is transformed into the output signal in z domain the transfer function of a system isn't affected by the nature of the input signal nor does it vary with time we can predict the behavior of the motor using h of z let's say we want to see what the motor will do if x goes from 0 to 1 at time n is equal to 0 and stays there forever this is called the unit step function and the z transform of the unit step response is h of z is equal to z of z minus 1 thus we can know everything about the system behavior and avoid undesirable solution or situation okay. Uh, the software you can write software from z transform with other case like if you have a transfer function for system then the software turns into a z domain equation which can then be converted into a difference equation which in turn can be turned into software very quickly this is the manual work and the software for a plant can be produced within the seconds okay now let's understand what is the difference equation is a difference equation is definition equation relating to various terms of a sequence like a string with a finite number of bits and equally spaced points okay now application of difference equation is of such as Fibonacci series which can be written as a suffix n is equal to a suffix n minus 1 plus a suffix n minus 2. Newton's interpolation formula which can also be written as uh, difference equation. A function of x y of 0 plus p of 1 minus del uh, p by 1, one uh, factorial del y 0 uh, plus p of p minus 1 by 2 uh, factorial into del square y 0 plus dot and compound interest etc. These are the important results on z transform that we already know that a suffix n can be written as z of z minus z plus minus n. The current uh, equation can be written as a, uh, z transform n to the power p can be written as minus z d of dz mod z n, n to the power p minus 1. Linearity z of a u, u, u suffix n plus b v suffix n which can be written as a into z to the power un plus b into z to the power vn. Damping rule z to the uh, z suffix z transform a n to a to the power n un can be written as u of z by a the important results of z transform are shifting theorem we already understand that z uh, transform of a uh, into y of k minus 1 is equal to z to the power minus 1 y of z multiplication by a constant z uh, transform of a into y of k is equal to a of y z some basic theorems that we have already discussed the initial value theorem final value theorem convolution theorem is can be written as uh, function of giga can be written as uh, transform of this now uh, let's discuss the connecting or the connection of z transform with other transformers the Fourier transform the Fourier transform of uh, f of an integrable function of can be written as r to c and it could be written here as this the real number this is a real number the Fourier transform of this can be written as minus infinity plus infinity f function of x e to the power minus 2 pi i x of real number d of x that we have already discussed okay and the the discrete time Fourier transform is a special case of the z transform the bilateral transform is defined as this x of z then x of z uh, n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of z x of n z to the power minus n special case is z it is equal to e to the power i omega since mod e to the power i omega is equal to 1 it is the evaluation of the z transform around the unit circle it is the evaluation around the unit circle of the complex plane now bilinear transform is the relation between the Laplace and z transform is given by 2 into z minus 1 by t into z plus 1 the relation between the z and Laplace transform is given by z is equal to 2 plus s function of x capital T by 2 minus s function of t okay. the application of z transform uh, it could be written here as this okay these are the 
and this is the Fourier transform that we have already discussed. Okay, we have already discussed this part, right? And the sample system is the inputs and outputs are related by difference equation. Z transform techniques are used to solve this difference equation. First touch to band limit the signal and a filter noise from the signal. Calculation of signal to control a system. Uh, data reading from a CD, read the signals, transmission system, telephone. Okay. And these are the okay. Now I want to discuss about the inverse Z transform. The formal inverse Z transform is based on a Cauchy integral. Less formal ways sufficient most of the time inspection method partial fraction expansion power series expansion inspection method make use of known z transform pairs such as a to the power n u of n z transform is 1 by 1 minus a to the power z, uh, z to the power minus 1 example the inverse z transform of f of x of z can be written here as this it could be written here as this okay okay the assume that a given z transform can be expressed as x of z which is equal to k is equal to 0 to f n b, b, b suffix k into z of minus k by k is equal to 0 to capital n a suffix k into z of minus k apply partial uh, fraction expansion x of z can be written here r is equal to 0 to m, m, m minus n b to the power r z to the minus r plus summation of k is equal to 1 to n a suffix k by 1 minus g to the b suffix k into z to the minus 1 plus summation of m is equal to 1 to s c, c uh, suffix m by 1 minus d i z to the minus 1 in uh, capital m first term exists only if m greater than n b suffix r is obtained by long division second term represent all first order poles third term represent order order as pole there will be a similar term for every high order pole each term can be inverse transformed by inspection Uh, so as we are discussing okay so next uh, slide is partial fractional expression uh, x of z uh, summation of r is equal to 0 m of m minus n capital M minus capital N capital B suffix r z to the power minus r plus su summation of k is equal to 1 to n a suffix k is by 1 minus d suffix k z to the power minus 1 plus summation of m is equal to 1 to s c suffix m by 1 minus d i z z to the minus 1 whole to the power n coefficients are given as a suffix k which is equal to 1 minus d suffix k into z to the minus 1 x of z z is equal to dk c to the power m is equal to 1 by s minus m minus d i s minus m d, d to the power s minus m d, d w s minus m 1 minus d i w to the power s x into w minus 1 w i is equal to di minus 1 easier to understand with examples let's do that now this is the example of a second order z transform the problem function here is x of z 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the power minus 1 1 minus 1 by 2 z to the power minus 1 we can of convert this mod z greater than half order of numerator is smaller than denominator no higher order pole x of z is equal to a suffix 1 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the minus 1 plus a suffix 2 by 1 minus half z to the minus 1 a suffix 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the minus 1 x of z z is equal to 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 1 minus half all to 1 by 4 to the minus 1 is equal to minus 1 a 2 1 minus half z to the minus 1 x of z z is equal to half is equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 1 by half all to the minus 1 is equal to equal, equal to Exam call continue the x of z is equal to minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the minus 1 plus 2 by 1 minus 1 half z to the minus 1 mod z greater than half. Region of converge extends to infinity indicates right sided sequence. Uh, this is the picture, uh, these are the this is the zeros at half and uh, 1 by 4 my half. So, region of convergence will start from this from this point. These are the region of convergence, uh, this is the that's why it's the right hand sided because. The poles are uh, exist at the 
point x is equal to half x is equal to one by four x is equal to half so at that point the con the region will be converged so the, there will be no uh, region will be existed will existed here but the uh, it is go from this point to the infinity okay uh, the x one result will be x of n is equal to two into one half whole to the power n u n minus one by four whole to the power n u n okay example hashtag two uh, the exa next example is one plus two to the power z minus one plus z to the power minus two by one minus three by two z to the power minus one plus one by half z to the power minus two and uh, this could be rewritten here as one plus z to the power minus one whole square by one minus half z to the power minus one into one minus z to the power minus one more z then one long division to obtain b half z to the minus two minus three by two z to the minus one plus uh, z to the minus two plus two z to the minus one plus one minus two minus three z to the minus one plus two five z to the minus one minus one these are the points two plus minus one plus five z to the minus one one minus half z to the minus one into one minus z to the minus one two plus a capital a suffix one by one minus half z to the minus one plus capital A suffix 2 by 1 minus z to the minus 1. A suffix 1 is equal to 1 minus half z to the minus 1 x of z. Half is equal to minus 9. A2 is equal to 1 minus z to the minus 1 xz. Z to the minus is equal to 1 is equal to 8. Example hashtag 2 continuous. x is equal to z to 2 minus 9 by 1 minus half z to the minus 1 plus 8 by 1 minus z to the minus 1. More than greater than 1. Uh, one more extends to infinity indicates right side intersection that we have already discussed this is the these are the, these are the zeros uh, uh, exist here and from that point the regional convergence started will go to the infinity so it will be a right sided LPO sequence and the uh, uh, final result will be 2 del n minus 9 into uh, 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 half to the power n u n minus 8 u n inverse z transform by power series expansion the z transform is power series so as we have already discussed here so if we expand it it will uh, look like this right x of minus 2 z square plus x of minus 1 z to the 1 x of 0 plus x of 1 z to the minus 1 x of 2 z to the minus 2 such as the z transform of this form can generally be inversed easily especially useful for finite length series the example x of z is equal to z square into 1 minus half z to the power minus 1 1 minus z to the power minus 1 1 minus z to the power minus 1 as is equal to z square minus half z minus 1 plus half z to the minus 1 and x of n can be written here del of n minus 2 minus half del of n minus 1 minus del of n plus half del of n minus 1 is equal uh, x of n is equal to n is equal to minus 2 minus half is equal to n minus 1 minus 1 is equal to n is equal to 0 and half is equal to n minus 1 and 0 is equal to n is equal to 2 Uh, the z transform properties uh, as we have already discussed uh, earlier these are the linearity property uh, this is the region of convergence combined sequence will be larger than either the roc this would happen if some poles and zero cancellation of course both sequence are right sided both sequence have a pole z is equal to one both have a roc defined as mod z greater than mod a in the combined sequence the pole at z is equal to a cancels with the zero at z is equal to a the combined roc is the same entire z plane except z equal to zero we did make use of this property already where Z transform property is time shifting x of n minus n0 z to the power minus n0 x of z roc is equal to r of x here n0 is equal to is an integer if positive the sequence is shifted right if negative the sequence is shifted left the roc can change the new term may and or, or add or remove poles at z is equal to 0 or z is equal to infinity example x of z is equal to z of z, z, z to the power minus 1 uh, 1 my 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 z to the power minus 1 x of n is 1 by 4 whole to the power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 and mod z is equal to 1 by 4 the z transform properties multiplication by exponential are z, z, uh, z 0 whole to the power n x of n mod z x of z by z 0 roc uh, mod z 0 into r of x roc is scaled by z mod z 0 all pole 0 locations are scaled if z 0 is a positive real number z plane shrinks or expands if z 0 is a complex number with unit magnitude it re rotates. Example, we know the z transform pair u of n mod uh, z transform 1 by 1 minus z to the power minus 1. Let's have z transform of this is this part and z transform of this part is 1 by half 1 minus r to the power g to the power g omega 0 z to the minus 1 plus 1 by half but 1 by 2 uh, by 1 minus r into e to the power g omega 0 uh, z to the power minus 1. Okay. Uh, the mod z is greater than r. 
zetrosome property differentiation I have already know n of n to x of n zetrosome minus z d of dz x of z r of x example you want to inverse zetrosome of x of z is equal to log of 1 plus a to the a into z to the minus 1 mod z is equal to mod z greater than mod a let's differentiate to obtain the rational expression d of dz x of z is equal to minus a of z to the minus 2 by 1 plus a of z to the minus 1 minus z is equal to d of dz of x of z and is equal to a of z minus 1 1 by 1 plus a of z minus 1 making use of z transform properties and roc n of x of n is equal to a into minus a whole to the power n minus 1 u of n minus 1 x of n is equal to minus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 a to the power n by n u of n minus 1 The transform properties conjugation is x star n mod z of x star z r of c is equal to r of n x of x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus into plus into x of n z to the minus n x star z is equal to summation of x n is equal to minus into plus into x of n z to the minus n and the same thing here as we expanded to this part x plus z summation of x star n z to the minus n uh, is equal to x uh, now if we take a uh, close look here the x of star n is uh, z transform x star n is x star z and uh, r of x example x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus into plus into x of n z to the n and x of star z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus into plus into x of n z to the power minus n and this part is come from this part and you can re rewrite it as a this and again okay Uh, the z transform of time reversal is can be written here that x of minus n can be written as x of 1 by z is in the form of 1 by r of x r of c is inverted example x of n is equal to a to the power minus n u of n minus n time reverse version of a, a to the power n u n is x of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus a z which is equal to minus a to the minus 1 z to the minus 1 by 1 minus a to the minus 1 into z to the minus 1 okay and the uh, mod z will be equal to less than mod of a, 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 a to the power minus 1 x of z is equal to 1, min, 1 by 1 minus a z is equal to minus a to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 1 by 1 minus a to the power minus 1 into z to the power minus 1 so these are the properties so these are the properties that we have discussed oh, okay so in the next lecture we are going to discuss more about inverse z transfer and few application and few examples also <coughs> through which we will get a uh, probable understanding uh, of z transform uh, through which we are going to get to the more uh, depth on analysis of z transform from the previous lectures okay so these are the properties that we have discussed in the next uh, lecture we are going to discuss more about different kind of transform properties and uh, different examples through which we will get a more uh, visualizable understandings of z transform so we are going to uh, conclude our lecture here okay so thank you uh, we'll come back with the next lecture where we are going to discuss about more examples of z transform from the open iron books okay so thank you